morning everyone oh, it's been a busy morning i've had absolutely nothing whatsoever to record because i've been up at the hospital for a routine appointment nothing to worry about but i thought i came back to a bit of post now this is um a, i ordered a pack of stickers from the um sticker station i can't actually remember which one it was <laughs> i ordered now but it never arrived and i messaged ali who is the lovely owner of the shop and she resent them and bless her, she sent me a free pack as um as an apology, which is so sweet and kind and totally unnecessary. And I'll show you in a bit what it's for. But um they've just arrived. So sticker station on Etsy, lovely customer service, and I really appreciate that. So thank you very much, Ali. Well, it's nearly half past twelve and I've not yet opened an advent, so let's do it now. Oh, look, I went to screw fix and treated myself to a right posh full gang extension cable. It's only a short one. It's for my Christmas tree lights and things. I'll show you in a bit. That'll be exciting, seeing me messing around, won't it, with cables. I didn't want anything posh. I just wanted to plug them all in it and be able to turn it on and off at the wall. So I didn't get them with individual switches or anything. Right, let's do Paula's first. Number four is here. Let's have a look, see what have we got. Carefully, ca ooh, a whisper and uh, a greeny ornament. And then we've got, ooh, that's pretty. Ha! Huh. We've got a turquoisey zebra one and we've got a dark purpley zebra, two zebras together, lovely. I have to save that and have that for my pudding. I think I'm going to have mackerel on toast for my dinner. Or I might have eggs, I'll see. Let's have a look. Oh my word. Oh, look at that. That can go in my spring quilt as well. How beautiful. Isn't that a lovely fabric? It's got has it? I was about to say it's got gold edging, but it hasn't actually, but it does look very much that way. It's just got an outline on it, but such pretty colours. And there should be, oh, yeah, and there it is. Let's see who we've got today. <laughs> I thought it might be. It's Santa. There he is, Mr. Santa. How lovely. Thank you very much, Davina. And now for... Rachel's from So Ray Me. And yesterday, if you're not watching her vlogmas, you should definitely go over and follow her. She did a lovely video all about packing up, making all the labels and the beautiful Christmas card that she sent to me, which was handmade as well. Um, and she shared all about the packing up and the making of this. And she said, if you want to see what's inside the parcels, go over and watch Suzanne at Green Lampkin. And um, so, yes, I'm saying go and watch Rachel at So Ray Me. <laughs> cute little it's got like a postage mark on it and it says peace and joy i love those postage stamp ones oh ooh, ooh. oh look i've got a very nice looking santa jockey what do you think then if you're watching stitch by mrs i've got dropsy today <laughs> If you're watching Paula at Stitch by Mrs. D, she is, she and James are rating, uh, seriously? They are rating Christmas chocolate Santa, Santa Clauses um, on various different things. So is his face jolly or is it creepy? I'd say he's jolly, but he's got red lipstick on like the one that Paula looked at last night um and 
The red is a very Christmassy red. I can't tell you about the engraving yet because I'm going to have him for my pudding as well. And then we've got, ooh, China Asters, a unique mix. I love Asters. Calistephus Ch Chinensis is the uh, Latin name. I love the Latin names of plants. So some seeds, some Aster seeds, which I will sow. When does it say to sow? Oh my word, I can't read that. Delightful sun. doesn't tell me when to sow them. Oh, does that mean it says Roman numerals three to five? So does that mean like March to May? And then it'll flower in seven to nine. So flowering in July to September. I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm making an assumption there. I will Google it and I'll find out about that in a bit. So I've got some seeds and then I've got these and I think <laughs> these are so sweet. They're like the, I think these are plant labels so that I can sow my seeds and then write what my seedlings are on there and stick it in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they are. So that's something nice to look forward to. I will sow those in March around my birthday. That'll be lovely. So thank you very much, everybody. That's a lovely little uh, selection today. And now I'm going to go and put Santa on my tree board and then um, make myself some dinner. And then I'm going to sort out my exciting um, extension. This is the bureau in the corner where I sit and knit. I've got all my yarn in here. And then here, look, I've got this, just in case you weren't sure, this is my knitting nook. And I got this from Rachel at So Raimi, and it says my crafty corner on the other side. I love it. And in here is a very, uh, you're going to get your head bopped. Watch out. A very messy selection of stuff. I really need to have a good tidy up in here. I've got this that's, I think it might have been Audrey that gave me this a couple of years ago. I need to do that. Need to knit a sock for this sock blocker keyring. It's really cute. Anyway, I've got safety eyes, progress keepers, and all sorts. I need to get myself organised, so I'm trying to do that. This is the tin that I used to keep all of my Christmas progress keepers in, but my collection has outgrown the tin. So this is my Halloween tin. And then I bought these tins. I think I just got them from Amazon, to be honest. And I've just progressed my Christmas progress keeper collection into this tin here so that is what these are for <laughs> so I just need to choose a Christmas sticker to go on the top of this tin these are Christmas progress keepers also but these are all ones that were in the um I did a swap with Lindsay from Simply Serving the other year and this was her Christmas progress keeper advent and we swapped advents and then this is my normal everyday progress keeper selection and that's not got a sticker on it either so i need to find something to put on there i suppose i could put this thank you for shopping small one on it would probably fit i'll see yes it would fit but first of all i'm going to choose which sticker let's have a look at them all sorry for the glare here let me see if i can mm, that's not really much help so I've got these four cho hot chocolate ones and then these Christmassy creatures. And I'm not sure how I'm supposed to choose. I've got a mouse. You can see the holographic there, look. I've got a mouse, a fox, a hedgehog, a squirrel and an owl. And the owl one is a little bit smaller and I'm thinking he, uh, he just fits on the tin. And I think the other ones might be a little bit big for it. Does the mouse fit? just but owls are one of my absolute favorites so i think i might go for him and then use these for something else nice what i could do is i could cut up some card and put those on and make some christmas um gift tags with them couldn't i 
I'll have a think about what to do with those, but I'm going to put my owl one on the Christmas tin. I just need to double check and make sure before I stick it on that I'm doing it on the right yeah, one. Well done. I went for going vertical rather than horizontal. I thought that looked better that way. So now I can open it up like a book and find all my Christmas progress keepers inside. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. Small things please me. I've had to start buying my eggs again because my truckies have stopped laying for the year altogether, it seems, which is sad. But this is the second double yoker I've had from a box of a half dozen. So uh, someone somewhere on a farm has obviously got some very young chickens or some very old ones, but it's usually the young ones that lay double yokers. These are from free range eggs, but I never quite know whether, how, how much I can trust that, if you know what I mean. I'm probably just being overly suspicious. Number four, down by the bunny. Not the best at identifying game birds, but I think that's grouse, isn't it? It's definitely not partridge because they've got long tails and they look far too silly. Not quail, I don't think. They probably wouldn't be out in the winter, would they? So I'm saying they're grouse or grice. As I like to say. It's been a very long and busy day. I've just got out of the bath and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of crochet on my um, wrap. But before I do that, I'm going to put on some of this nice pretty nail varnish. It's a Barry M1 from the Molten Metal range. And it's, what's it called? Oh, gold. <laughs> Very descriptive. I don't know whether they still do this colour because I've had it a couple of years. But I thought that would be nice. And I've just discovered that at least two of my Christmas nail varnishes have gone all goopy and passed their best. So that's it now. They're done for. But I thought this would do. I also bought some really nice little uh, Christmassy nail decals. I think they came from... Um, What's it called? H&M. I can't find them anywhere. So uh, I might see if I've squirreled them away somewhere. But for now, I've got my 
bag here and I'm going to get my laptop out and I'm just going to watch a few vlogmases before I go to sleep. Thank you very much for joining me today. Pippin says thank you too. Don't you, Pippin? <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow. Night, night. Say night, night. Oh, don't do that, you dirty boy. <laughs> well, I suppose you're being clean, really. Oh, bless you. There you go. Are oh, you calling up to mum? Good boy. Oh, thank you. I need a clean as well, do I? Oh, kind little love. Ta-ta, everybody.